Hello, my name is Gabriel Lev, and today I will be sharing with you about preparing the visually impaired community for the next global pandemic. COVID-19. It is a word that has been used regularly in most people's vocabulary for the last three years. It's one of the rarest phenomena in human history with such a massive scale of damage and destruction that our world has encountered with. With over 6.5 million deaths and 767 million confirmed cases, the coronavirus pandemic has shook our world forever. People from all walks of life have been greatly affected. However, some were met with disparities in terms of the support that they were provided with. One such population is the visually impaired people, or the VIPs. Before we dive further into the topic of the effects that the pandemic had, on a global VIP community. Let me start off with a short introduction about myself. My name is Gabriel Lerner. I'm a grade 10 student at Holy Trinity School in Toronto, Canada. I'm an assistant swimming instructor at my local community center. I enjoy peer tutoring and I'm the co-leader of my school's peer tutoring club. I'm also an avid public speaker and I'm the head of public relations in my school's Mall UN club. Lastly, I spend much of my spare time volunteering at hospitals and organizations such as Joy Beyond Vision Community, or JBVC in short. Volunteering at JBVC has been transformative for me. JBVC empowers visually impaired individuals through advocacy, skill training, and emotional support. I am passionate about expanding my global health knowledge and making a greater contribution to VIPs worldwide in the future. I wish to be a physician in the future, and I'm very interested in the global health field. I'll start off with the problem, the current solutions, and some plausible and effective solutions. Lastly, I'll end off with the conclusion and acknowledgements. The VIP population has had one of the most disproportionate impacts during the course of the global pandemic. They already have limited navigational abilities due to vision impairments, and the pandemic had made these challenges even more challenging. The absence of open discussions regarding the pandemic's potential consequences on VIPs' mental health and social inclusion has increased the effects of the pandemic on them. Feelings of loneliness and isolation are a direct result from being unable to contact others in person and take part in community activities. This graph shows that there is around a 22% difference in depression and anxiety between those who are VIPs and those who are not. 22%! Now that is quite an alarming disparity. This diagram is from a survey of 853 VIPs globally, and it shows that the first and third most reported significant difficulty as a result of the pandemic has to deal with their mental state, therefore proving the lack of support given for their mental health. Here are some current solutions. Working with organizations to spread awareness. Governments have worked with groups and charities such as the World Blind Union and the World Health Organization that support people with vision impairment to spread awareness and encourage inclusivity. These collaborations make it easier to reach the VIP community with information and crucial services. Funding. From this diagram, it clearly shows that the government does not do enough, with only 2% of the respondents being able to access the support that was promised to them. The Canadian government, for example, has allocated a one-time non-refundable tax credit of $600 called the Disability Tax Credit. This is certainly a sentiment valid by many. However, given that the monthly average grocery cost of a family of four is around $936, it is simply not enough for VIPs to be able to sustain themselves. While the government's attempts to aid VIPs during the pandemic were a step in the right direction, it is obvious that they fell short of fully addressing the problems that this population faced. Therefore, I would like to propose some solutions that are not only plausible but also strong solutions that would truly help the VIP community in ways that the global community has never seen before in recent years. This is a diagram created by the World Blind Union that lists some aspects that our international community 
could do to help support VIPs, not only in normal times, but especially in times of dire circumstances, such as the pandemic. I believe that there are a couple of points that stand out to me, and I believe would be the most effective. Here are my recommended solutions. Raise awareness. One of the most effective ways to ensure that the VIP community gets the support they need is by increasing public awareness of their needs. Increased awareness can encourage the creation of support networks and assistive technologies like Braille documents. Raising awareness for beneficial tools and organizations such as Be My Eyes are also imperative to help the VIPs. Raising awareness will not only empower the VIP community, but also ensure that they will be able to have ample amounts of support that they require. Preventative measures for vision impairment and blindness. According to the World Report on Vision in 2019, it is estimated that over 2.2 billion people worldwide are living with varying degrees of vision impairment. Shockingly, at least 1 billion or half of these cases could have been prevented or remain unaddressed. If the international government were able to prevent eye diseases before they came into full effect, it would not only enhance the person's quality of life greatly, but also save millions of dollars for treatment. International collaboration. There are many aspects to eye problems that even our most renowned doctors don't know about. International collaboration is essential to enhancing the lives of blind people by promoting knowledge sharing and a coordinated strategy for meeting the needs of the visually impaired community. Inclusive policies. The main objective of inclusive policies will be to dismantle obstacles and offer equal opportunities in different spheres of life. It would address issues such as education and careers in which access to assistive technologies, support from experts from various fields, and equitable access to job opportunities would be complementary to all the IPs. So here are some questions for deeper learning about this topic. Number one, in what ways have the effects of the global pandemic on VIP communities brought attention to pre-existing systemic barriers and disparities? Number two, how can the experiences and lessons learned from the global pandemic be used to shape inclusive policies that prioritize the needs and rights of visually impaired individuals in times of crisis. Here are my references. I'd like to give a short moment of my time to thank my parents, family, and teachers for their continued support and guidance. To Joy Beyond Vision community for allowing me to learn more about this pressing issue. To the Global Health Leadership Conference at John Hopkins for this wonderful opportunity. And to you, my audience, for your time and attention. If you have any questions or wish to learn more about this pressing issue, feel free to contact me via my email and LinkedIn. I would be glad to get to know you more and work together as our world's future leaders. Once again, thank you for your time.